Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Nomadic J. Today, I'm going to take you with me to Cologne. I've been, this is my third time in Panama, and I have never been to Cologne, so I'm going to take you with me for the first time. I mean, you can always go to Cologne uh, by bus, no, excuse me, by train, by taxi, rent a car, or even uh, or a tour bus. But today, I'm going to take you with me because I'm taking a local bus uh, there, and I'm going to kind of guide you and show you uh, how to take the bus to Cologne. The, the easiest and cheapest way to go there. Uh, and efficient way to go there, I think. Anyway, so I'm going to take you with me. I'm trying to go step by step. But just understand, you know, these steps only are needed if you don't have some of these things. So the first thing you want to do is actually, you know, look for the, uh, the, uh, the ticket booth. Uh, you're not going to really use the ticket booth because you got to use other ways to get there but you gotta either go behind you know 17 and 18 where you're gonna see the word uh cologne or you're gonna end up going to the other ticket booths which is uh uh 15 and 16 and again that's just a reference point because i went to 17 and 18 there was no one there and really there was no one there 15 and 16 14 and 15 or 15 and 16 but eventually someone showed up and they kind of gave me some extra guidance. But the first thing you want to do, if you don't have the rapid pass card, you first got to buy the rapid pass card. Because the rapid pass card is what you need to get through the turnstile to get to the buses. Each bus has its own little payment system. So this card is not to, uh, it's not to be used on the bus, but you need to go through these little turnstile and you need that card. The card is $2 and you have to put a dollar on it. You can't put no more than a dollar. I don't know what else they use this card for. I already have a separate card just for the train, but I guess you can probably use that for the Metro train too and the buses. Uh, but primarily, I need that card uh, to be able to get through the turnstile right here to get on the buses. Uh, the buses, I couldn't really find a schedule. I just kind of, once I saw the bus and saw Cologne in the window, I just stood there like that with this lady right here. We just second person. I think it was like 15 after 11. Uh, couldn't figure out when the bus was going to start. He was trying to tell me, uh, uh, and to tell me that the money is going to be collected, but he pretty much just told me to stand there. Uh, the bus is like $3.15. I mean, you're going to see some other buses out there that have cologne and they're probably cheaper, but this is kind of like a Greyhound type bus. Super comfortable, super comfortable, super comfortable. The other ones, again, are probably cheaper. Uh, again, they're going to collect money on the bus, which is strange. It seemed like they have some type of honor system because, you know, it seemed like we were like 20 minutes into the ride before they started collecting money. So I don't know what happened to people when, you know, they don't have the money. It's, you know, I guess they let people on based on the honor system. Again, we was there like 11. They, they opened the bus like 1130 and they really didn't leave out to like 10 till. So I guess... 11.45, probably the, the normal departure time, or until the bus is full, because he was definitely making sure the bus was full. Keep in mind, this is a Saturday. Uh, so I don't know what happens in the middle of the week, if it's different in the middle of the week, but this is a Saturday morning uh, when I did this. So again, the price is three fifteen. dollars uh, So yeah. Yeah, I... I you, I mean, I think you should try to bring as much correct change as possible. They seem to have change, but I guess it depends on how crowded the bus. So you probably want to bring as much correct change as possible. But definitely try not to bring no big bill. You know what I mean? But I've seen people exchange 20. But again, that particular day, the bus was full. Now, keep in mind, the bus, you know, it's pretty much an express bus until they get close to the city. Once they get close to the city, uh, there are quite a few stops. I mean, it's probably stopped like eight or nine times. They were quick stops, but they stopped like eight or nine times as it got closer to the city. Uh, so just understand that. All right. So uh, before we actually uh, get to the city, let me just give you a brief, quick history on Cologne. Cologne is a city and seaport in Panama. It's beside the Caribbean Sea, lying near the Atlantic entrance to the Panama Canal. That's why sometimes you hear people refer to Panama City being on the Pacific side and Cologne being on the Atlantic side. Uh, it is the capital of Panama, Cologne province, and has traditionally been known as Panama Second City. Originally, it was located entirely on Manzanillo Island, surrounded by Limon Bay, 
Manzanillo Bay, and the Folks River. However, since the disestablishment of the Panama Canal Zone, the city limits have been re redefined to include Fort Gulick, which is a former U.S. Army base, as well as the former Panal Panama Canal Zone, towns of Cristobal, Margarita, and Coco Solo. That's a population of about 204,000. I don't know if that's increasing or decreasing, but that's basically the population from what I've been able to read. So anyway, that's just a quick, brief history. Until we get to the city where we can actually explore it live, check out some of these uh, sites along the way. Here in Cologne, right across the street from the, uh, I guess the bus station. But we're gonna just walk and explore, see what we got here. A lot more vibe going on down here. Look at that. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of walk, look, but we next we are exploring this at, together. Um, okay. Uh, at least I know where the bus station is located. I mean. Okay, uh, we just, we're just walking. I don't know where we're going, but, uh, we're walking. And we fall into vibe of the, uh, the people who live here. That's... Right. It's 
definitely lively down here. A lot of energy going on. Kind of remind me of the DR, to be honest with you. At least Santo Domingo. few minutes that direction I guess this is the main street right here a few minutes that direction is where the uh, I guess the uh, free zone like the uh, outlet for shopping because I saw the bus that I think one person got off but we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna walk down this way right here it's a lot of energy going on down here. Could imagine what it's like at night time. It's a Saturday, by the way, just in case. Uh, it's definitely a uh, it's hot too, but 90 degrees. It's hot, but.
Santo, Santo, y que no te olvides, Santo, 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 es el Señor Jehová. Santo, 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 es aquel que nos redime, porque mi Dios es Santo y la tierra llena de su gloria está. Porque mi Dios es Santo y la tierra llena de su gloria al cielo y al cielo. I'm loving the energy down here. This is crazy. Man, it's hot out here. No, I'm not seeing much. I'm just kind of taking it in. So. It's so energetic now here, you know? I'm not even sure why I haven't been here sooner. Definitely, uh, building. I don't know, are they planning on doing anything with this building? Got it blocked off. Definitely like a building that was like the center of, uh, of town. I mean, they look just like Santo Domingo in uh, in Dominican Republic. To be honest with you. I mean, the decay of building is noticeable, but it's not like this is definitely not what I expected. I really didn't expect this. To be honest with you. I mean, it's, you know, it's, obviously there's some areas that still need some cleaning up, but it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it actually, uh, I mean, it needs some work, but 
And once you're here, it doesn't like a place you shouldn't walk. That's the that's the point I'm trying to make. I mean, there's something. I mean, I mean, you're right. If they could at least work on the main street, that would be cool. But it's not so bad that you don't feel like walking or too afraid to walk. I don't know how far I'm going to walk down, but uh. Beautiful tree right here. I mean, like you got everything you need here, you know what I mean? Place to eat, paint shop. I guess if you need mall, mall shop, freeze on. That's an interesting tree. Oh, they got lights hanging up on them. Okay, so it's probably interesting in here at night time. You know, as bad as some of the building look, I mean, there are people living there, so. Laundromat right there, supermarket. Not sure what's going on down here. Oh, plenty of laundromats down here. Yeah, this is it. If you come to Panama, you gotta come and visit. I can tell you right there, I feel super, super safe. I don't feel like I went in, into the wrong neighborhood or anything. I'm on the main street, so, and which is where you wanna be, you wanna check out, you know what I mean? Obviously, there's some side streets that probably not something you wanna check out, maybe. But why would you go down there? Unless you have a reason to be down there, you know? I'm sure someone's gonna write and say, why don't you go to the good part? I, all I was planning on doing was just going down to downtown and check it out and that's it. I mean, it's less and less people, so. I mean, it looks like it goes for quite a ways. I don't know how far I'm going down. Maybe I go down to this kind of a uh, couple more statue, or maybe another statue, and that'll then I'll probably try to check out some of the side streets on my way back. That's where people uh. live, right here. Again, I think it goes up pretty far, but we are not going that far. There's hardly no one down there, so. I think I'm gonna end up stopping right here and actually give you some other views from a different angle. And head back the other direction. Get some bits and pieces of scenery that I didn't get. Yeah, let me just do a pan here. Yeah. I have no idea what street this is or where I'm at. But I know I'm further down going away from the uh, free zone. So, okay.
All right, let's uh, let's take a walk, and let me show you some images of uh, bits and pieces of images uh, closer to the buildings here. I mean, it's funny if you read all the stories, I see all the articles. Don't go there. No, don't go there. Like, I mean, a city with women and children. Live it every day. It's a Bowside Barbershop right there. That's how you do it. Can't have a city without a KFC. I'm not even hungry though, that's the thing. You look down the street here. Bars ain't no joke though. You got bars. Dominoes everywhere.
everything here. I just realized I didn't see any traffic lights. Not that they're not working, I didn't see any at all, so kind of have to step out there. Go with what you know.
right, all right, guys. I'm right back at the metro station. Listen, I don't know if that's an inside or not. I, I don't know if this is. Just, I just know this is the same bus that I came on. So I'm just gonna go with it. I don't, I'm not sure it's on the other side of this station. Whether or not there's an inside, whether or not the schedule. I think it's one of the places that you just just gotta know. So since I see the bus here, people are waiting. Again, they seem to just open the door at the uh, at the half hour. Uh, and pretty much like just, you know, the way we left, they, you know, start letting people on the bus at a half hour, and then this time it filled up a little quick, and this time everybody was going to Panama City, so they really didn't have any stops like they did, you know, coming to, uh, 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 to Cologne, I mean, I, which makes sense, I mean, because, you know, why pay $3.15 just to go a couple minutes up the road? There's probably local buses to, you know, for 40 30 20 cents to take you right up the street. So everybody on this bus is going back to Panama City. So they really didn't stop. But I really enjoyed this this trip. I mean, it really was an exploratory trip for me to see what was Cologne all about. I mean, maybe I will, next time I want to come back and check out the Cologne, I mean, the free zone. I'll probably sit, stay overnight maybe, uh, eat at some place. I wasn't hungry, so I didn't stop to eat. But there was a few places that I want to at least test out but I felt super comfortable and it's one of them cities you got to check out you know if you come to Panama City just get on the bus take a little bus ride 315 and of course it comes 315 to go back so basically six dollars and 36 30 cents for a round trip uh, to uh, Panama City uh, from Panama City so it took an hour to get there uh, and about an hour to get back and it's mostly all highway or all open road. There's no sideways, I mean side roads or whatever. It's all highway-ish type road. You know, it's toll road. So it's, you know, this is a Saturday, so I don't know what it's like. In, but it was hardly no traffic, as you can see some of the pictures on the, uh, you know, getting here. So I, I think it's basically take an hour to get here, an hour to get back. Quick hour, spend a day, spend a few hours, go to the free zone, check out the city, eat something. And get on a bus and go back, you know what I mean? Or stay overnight, you know. So anyway. All right, there you go, guys. I am back in Panama City. Back at Albro. Grand Terminal. Or the Grand Station, or whatever they call it. The Central Station, basically. Hope you enjoyed that. That was a nice little quick way of going to uh, Cologne by bus. Again, you can always take a taxi. You can always take uh, do the tour bus. I think you can even take a train, even though I don't know where you catch the train at. Or you can keep it cheap and just take a, uh, a bus. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell. And I will see you in the uh, next video. Thank you for watching.